Good morning to you guys. Happy Friday. I'm so thankful that today is going to be warmer and hopefully we'll be able to get outside for some recess time today. This cold weather has been tough, hasn't it? Oh my goodness. Um, it's tough to even be out there, but I'm so thankful now that it's going to warm up. So remember all the snow rules. Snow stays on the ground. You don't throw it at people. You don't kick it at people. Um, you're welcome to like roll up bigger snowballs if it gets to where you can do that. And you can try to stack them to make snowmen. You can roll larger snowballs and try to put them all together to make forts. And when you go out, you don't destroy other people's things. You leave them alone. All right. Um, it doesn't matter if it's partially built. Whatever the case, you leave it because that was theirs. You can roll your own and build your own snowmen or build your own forts. Um, if you want to add to forts, I'm okay with that. Snowmen, just leave them and build your own. All right? Okay, so the manner today is all about what you do with your body to show respectful listening. So things that you don't want to do with your body are things like, and I'm going to show you real quick, so watch my eyes. Or even like, notice what I'm doing. I'm also exhaling as I'm doing. I'm going, so I, I shrug down, I make a noise, uh, uh, or do things like that. Maybe it'll be like, and make that little smack at your lips, which kind of says like, whatever, right? We don't want to do those things. It's disrespectful to people. So even if you don't agree, you're going to sit there just like yesterday's is respect people's opinions, thoughts, and ideas, right? So we're going to sit there and listen, take that in, and then you're always welcome to tell your side of a story or give people your opinion or your thought, but you want to be a respectful listener first and foremost. All right, next one is to not moan or complain when you're given work. Listen, practice makes you better. And if you can practice perfectly, that's gonna make you be able to do things perfectly. Not very often do we practice perfectly though, right? That's why it's called practice, because we can't do it quite right. So at school, it's the same way as if you're trying to learn how to ride a scooter, ride a skateboard, do some dance, play piano, play any kind of instrument. Anything that you're learning to do, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna fall down, you might even get hurt, but you're gonna get back up and try again. And school is the same way. You gotta just keep on trying to get any better at those things. So if you're struggling at reading, you got to try harder at that. I was out in the garage the other day trying to do ollies with my daughter and I kept turning the board and I couldn't get it to go straight. Um, I can ollie, but I always turn at least like 30 degrees. I couldn't get it to go straight and I just did it and did it and did it. And did it. I still haven't perfected it yet, but I'll get there. Um, and in reading, I had to work and work and work and work for months. And actually it's been years that I've had to work at reading to get myself better at reading. And we all have to do that same thing. So we don't want to moan or complain. Work at it. It's going to make you better. And the last one for today all deals with guest teachers in your classroom. Remember when a guest teacher comes in, they're a guest. You want to treat them with, with the utmost respect, as much respect as you can give them. You want to listen even better that day. And you got to know that they're going to do things that are different than what your teacher did. And that's okay. They're the one that are in, in control that day. They're the ones that are in charge. They're the ones that get to make the rules. They're the ones that get to tell you how things are going to go. And if it's a little bit different, that's okay. Because that teacher's going to do things a little bit different. We all do. So let them do that. Take a breath. It will be okay. But the same rules still apply for school. You still follow the rules. You still have quick, quiet transitions. You're still respectful to people. You still greet them kindly. You still um, play together on the playground and be polite to one another. None of those things change. But some things in the classroom might change. She might do little things in the classroom differently. And it's okay. It's okay. All right. Have a wonderful Friday today. Have a good weekend. And if I don't see you today, I will certainly see you on Monday. Have an awesome day, you guys. Bye-bye.